Prabhu, you mentioned that our services should be the focus center and the own center. Yeah. But sometimes we see that uh, sometimes we have to do the service which we inspired for, not just what we are instructed for. Sometimes you know, when we work for new we did not have good good. What is the point of spending the time in the kitchen by not do some other services? At the same time, it's okay to do it. So, I said we should be purpose driven, but then sometimes we feel more inspired to do some service different from what we are instructed to do. So, what should we do at such a time? Is that the question? Yeah. Yes, in general, there has to be a cooperative atti attitude between the community leaders and the community members. The community members should be ready to do whatever service we are told to do. And the community leaders, their goal should be, their vision should be that you now let every devotee be happy in the service that they are doing. And therefore, we try, the community leaders should be trying that, let every devotee engage in a service that is according to their nature, that they are inspired to do. So, for longevity in our service, it is good that we have some service that we feel inspired to do. And the... <clears throat> If there are at times certain urgent projects come up, some festivals come up, some major uh, events come up. That time we all have to do whatever we are told to do. But in the long run as we are practicing bhakti, it's good in consultation with our seniors to gravitate towards the service that we feel inspired to do. The advantage of having a service that we feel inspired to do is that even if tomorrow there is nobody to instruct us, still we will do the service. Tomorrow, say, uh, nowadays all of us are so mobile. Tomorrow we may go to some other place. There's not so much devotee communities there. But if we are driven to do a service, then we will continue that. If we are inspired to do it. So in general, it is good to engage in services that we feel inspired to do. But we don't do it in a, a whimsical or a rebellious way. We submissively inform our seniors that this is what I feel inspired to do. Can I do it? And usually they will be understanding and say, okay, you do this right now for this time being. And in the future, you can do this service. So exactly when we can do the service that we feel inspired to do, that will vary. So we can keep the inspiration in our heart and we can try to uh, do that service. But sometimes the externals may, may mean that it takes some time for us to do that service. You know, I was just in... California in Carpentaria with Giriraj Maharaj. So, Giriraj Maharaj was instructed by Srila Prabhupada to write books. But then he was involved in the Mumbai project. And the Mumbai project like a, like a war zone. So, initially he said, I want to write books. And then his god brothers, senior god brothers told him at that time that, you know, you know, you can write articles, you can write books anytime. But right now, we have to build this temple and Prabhupada wants this temple to be built. So, he did that at that time. And then now the way it has worked out is that when finally the temple was, uh, the land was procured and the temple manifestation came to its, its conclusion, so Prabhupada said, you know, it was a, if, so I know if you know the story of how Prabhupada got the Juhu land, it was quite an adventure, it was a battle. So at the end, Prabhupada said, it was a good fight. I said, someone should write a book about it. <laughs> So then Giriraj Maharaj realized that I could have written about so many ideas according to my ideas, but by doing this service, Krishna made me an insider for a book that Prabhupada wants me to write. So now he has written a, it's a beautiful several hundred, almost 800, 900 page book. It's a complete history of how the, how the Prabhupada arranged for the Juhu temple to manifest. So currently the name is a, promise, a good fight and a promise fulfilled. Mm -hmm. So good fight means that Prabhupada said it was a good fight and a promise fulfilled. Prabhupada had personally promised Radha, Parth, Radha, um, Radha Rasbihari, sorry. Radha Rasbihari that you please stay in this tent and I will build a beautiful temple for you. So sometimes, so Maharaj is telling me that for many years I couldn't do this service. But now he's fully absorbed in that service. So sometimes the service that we are inspired to do, situations may not allow us to do that. So we accept that, we keep the inspiration in our hearts and we keep doing whatever service we can at that time and slowly we gravitate towards that. Prabhupada's spiritual master told him to preach. 
But for him, it took a lot of time because he had other responsibilities. So we, so, uh, we don't have to give up our inspiration, but we don't have to give up everything else just for our inspiration. <laughs> now we can have balance and gradually, as we keep practicing bhakti, we will learn how to, how to find space for ourselves by which we can do the service that we feel inspired to do. Answer your question? 